Hello and welcome to my channel. I designed this pattern for this painter tray and I 3D printed that on my photon printer and here is the result of that. Let's do something fun with this. You will find a link for my print file in the info box below. I have this eye pin that I'm going to use to make this painter roll. So I'm just making sure that the length here of the top can fit down into the tray. And then I'm just bending it like you see me do right here. I have eye pens in two sizes myself and this is a longer one. The shorter one will not work. You can use a paper clip, just unfold it and bend it like you see here. Or some kind of other wires. Just uh, make sure that they are not too bendy so that they can keep the shape. Here I am working on the handle for these roller painter things. I actually don't know what they're called. So if you know the name of these, please let me know. I'm just rolling the clay between two pieces of glass to get a long, thin, even snake. And I'm gonna cut them into the length that I want for the handle. I'm cutting a slice in this little uh, snake for the handle and placing the uh, middle part in there and closing up the handle again. Make sure it's really good closed or it will open up later. When my connection is fine, I am going to carefully pull out this metal piece, just really careful. And then I am making an indent like you see here. And I'm inserting the metal piece again when I'm done with this indent. Then I take my needle tool and I poke a hole in the bottom here where you can put a string or something in it if you want to, but I'm making the hole from both sides. Making these holes will deform the size of the snake, so I'm rolling it careful between my fingers again, or maybe even on my work surface. I found a box where I could place my glass plate on, and then I'm using this um, tool that I have here to make kind of an indent at the top of this handle. Um, find something small, maybe a knitting pin or something like that if you don't have the tool that I have here. I have this fussy fabric. Um, it is a nice gray color thing and I'm just cutting out a tiny piece that fits around the top of this and then I am going to glue it around this metal piece. Just watch what I'm doing. And here I go a bit off camera. I'm sorry about that but I'm wrapping the fabric around the middle piece so that it looks like the roller part. Then I paint my painter's tray in red. Uh, you can paint it in almost any kind of colors. I have seen these in a variety of different colors, so yeah, you choose a color. Just paint it all, let it dry, turn it around and paint the bottom part of it. Then I'm just leaving the paint to dry and we are all done. Here is a small paint trace with the roller thing that I don't know the name of. Thank you for watching my videos. Please give it a like if you like it. And I'll see you next week. Happy crafting.